yarn tubers welcome back to wanderlust crochet with dana and benji in the truck cooking breakfast so today i'm going to talk to you yarny socialites or anybody who's curious about the schedule for friday and then um i'm going to show you my progress for the week i'm going to talk to you about discord and talk to you, tell you where I'm at. Update you on where I'm at. So first of all, the Friday schedule. Now I'm just doing this off my head. Um, you know, you came in on Thursday and, and got situated in and we had a great time. We did. We had a great time. Um, Friday you come in. You get more if you... Um, you When you come in, you get another raffle ticket. Another... It'll be purple tickets for, um, you know, drawing for the door prizes. Sorry for stuttering. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and so if you won the day before, you now have one ticket in your hand. If you didn't win the day before, you now have two tickets in your hand. Okay, so then, you know, we're going to have a discussion. I might do a blocking demonstration. Um, that could happen any of the days because um, I'm going to have some things to show you about blocking uh, because I'll be blocking while I'm at the hotel. At 10 o'clock, we're going to start the, um, we're going to start this project. The, um, what's it called, Dana? The Tapestry Crochet Mug Rug. So, the yarn will be provided. We will work on that until noon. 12 to 1.30 is lunch. And when we come back, we're going to have more discussion. Those discussions are a lot of fun, you guys. You can shop. You can work on your tapestry. We will answer any questions about the tapestry, about crochet. We'll kind of fill, you know, maybe fill you in a little bit about the workshop that's going to happen on Saturday. Now, we will kick everybody out. The doors close at 5 o'clock. Uh, but we plan on, I'm not sure about the time right now. I think it's in the schedule in the... Um, in the uh, Facebook group, which is linked down below, and uh, for the um, for the pizza party over at Three Loves Yarn Shop over on Caldwell Boulevard. So we'll be talking about that through the afternoon. How how are we all going to get there? All that kind of stuff, and what should we expect? You should expect a lovely, lovely crochet, or a, I'm sorry, a lovely yarn shop. Um, with with a bunch of local knitters and crocheters in there. The yarn is fabulous. And Erica, the store owner, if you have any questions about knitting or crochet, you can always go to Erica. Questions about yarn, all the things. So that is Friday. We got a lot going on on Friday. Okay, the next thing is my progress on the Gumball Afghan, which is our Mountain States Children's Home Charity Crochet Along and it's linked down below. But I am on my six colors. See, this has six colors plus the main color, which is a dove gray that goes in between them. So I'm on color number six. I hope to have this done by the Yarny Social. Um, and after I do this, then I'm gonna be using all the colors for the border. This is such nice yarn, you guys. It's Bravo worsted. Very nice acrylic yarn okay and i'm going to be using all the colors for the border that is going to be such a nice blanket to send off to the children's home now if you're not into afghans or blankets you're more into amigurumi you know see that document down below uh missy's cottage you know she she has this um these lives where some bunny sundays all that information is down below i'm also cooking breakfast so i'm paying attention here I think I'm gonna shut that off. We're done. Um, what's next? Gumbo. Okay, I showed you the color work. Discord. Okay, if you haven't, um, check the link in the description box because if you haven't uh, joined uh, joined us over on Discord, it's a good time to do that. Um, you just go over to Discord, create yourself, you know, uh, an account, a username, and a password. And then do a search for Dana's Wanderlust Crochet Testers. You don't have to be one of my testers to join that. We chat a little in the general text. So when you get in there and you join us, um, then you want to open, like if I'm on my phone vertically, I'm going to open that menu on the left side. And you can see that there are different channels within my Discord. And 
the text channel under text channel it'll say general and that's where you're at when you first come in that's where you can just generally chat with everybody then you go down to voice channels click on general and that is our that is our voice slash video chat room so if you're into you know doing a little voice or video chat that is where we have been a lot lately me and Carrie uh, Jetton who is the other host for the Yarny Social. Now, if I'm not in there or nobody's in there, you know, get a hold of me. Put a message in the text, general chat, general channel, and I should get a notification for that. It's not like YouTube where you're like, I never got a notification. Yeah. So go in there and say, hey, Dan, you know, and put at Dan, you know, you can, you can put at and you can choose who's in there to get to tag me and get my attention. And if I'm in a place, you know, I'll get back to you. If I'm in a place where I can bring up the video chat, a lot of times I'll just pull over and bring it up and get back on the road and we can video chat. Now, the thing with video chat is you don't have to have your video running if you don't want. You can just have the microphone on. Now, when you first come in, this is how it works for me. I've got my phone horizontal and I tap it nothing happens. Tap it, nothing happens. Tap it again, and a little bar comes up on the bottom, and immediately the very left icon on that bar, you need to tap on that one to bring up the video. Um, if people are saying, hey, we can't hear you, um, either your microphone is being used by your device for something else, or you need to bring up that bar and tap on the microphone to get it to work so that we can chat. So that's what's been going on over there recently and we are having such lovely discussions like the other day um we were talking about knitted socks because i'm just i'm fascinated with knitted socks i don't knit but um i am fascinated with knitted socks and you know talking about what we're working on showing what we're working on um all the things talking about our lives we're going to keep it positive. We're not going to come in and start, com you know, complaining and bring bringing other everybody down. I don't want to censor people, but let's not turn this into a a bee fest. <laughs> trying not to get in trouble. I'm trying to be good, is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go 24 hours without swearing or mm, hand gestures to other drivers. So yes, I'm trying to be good. A bee fest. We don't want any of that. We don't want any of biting other people's heads off if they say something you don't like. Um, but here's the thing with this chat. Okay, there there is some etiquette. Um, when you come in, don't just come in and start, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's usually a conversation going on. And if we're in a conversation, we're going to kind of get to a pause point, And then we're going to recognize that you just came in. Okay? Um, uh, what else? Oh, if, if you're in a, if you are someplace where there are other people or there are other noises going on, dogs, cats, microwaves, blenders, you know, find that mute button so you can mute while that goes on. If you want to turn and say something to a child or a spouse or another person in the room, find that mute button, please, because their voices and your voice come across just as loud as the people who are having a conversation. Everybody take turns. You know, we're all being polite. Um, this is open to anyone, anyone who wants to come in and be friendly with people. Anyone. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I want to say about that. So come on into Discord and uh, join us for some video chat. Okay. Last thing is, I am in, so last time I was in Georgia, I have been, I went north of there, went back south, went north again. Um, I ended up picking up a load. After my second, I went back into Georgia, I went up to Newberry, Arkansas, picked up a load of potato chips, and then I went up to the Lincoln Terminal, Lincoln, Nebraska, and then I went across to North Platte, Nebraska, and delivered that load. Then I deadheaded into um, Wiggins, Colorado, cut across was I in Wiggins yeah then I cut across and went almost all the way over to I-25 into the Loveland area I was in the Loveland area and I picked up this load it's a very heavy load full of glass so 
Um, yeah, empty beer bottles, like 90 plus thousand empty beer bottles. So I'm being very careful with this very heavy, fragile load, right? And I was, oh, I was just, as the crow flies, not very far from the Mountain States Children's Home. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. So, yeah. So anyway, that was yesterday morning that I picked that up and then I drove down I-25 and then I cut, a, I, I went over Raton Pass and then right into the town of Raton, New Mexico, I cut across, went diagonally, you know, southeast, and now I'm in Texline, Texas. I just barely made it into Texas yesterday. Woke up in Wiggins, ended up in Texline. So we're going to be in Texas the next couple of days. Um, I'm, I still have another, at least a full day of traveling. I may be um, getting closer to, you know, I might have just a few. Uh, a little few hours left in the morning depending on how far I get and then I don't deliver until the day this video goes up which is Monday morning today's Saturday I think there's some lives to check out today you guys I was thinking about oh let's go live now nah, oh. you know I don't normally worry about when other people go live because there's enough YouTube for everybody right we don't we don't need to turn ourselves inside out for that seriously but um, a friend of mine, you know, Carrie the Arnie Elephant, I believe, is having a birthday thing going on today. I think there's some giveaways. Um, so I'm not going to go live this, do a live drive this morning. I possibly will go live when I get parked tonight. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of itching to do a live, you know, live sit and stitch with you guys. So let's, let's see how that goes tonight. Um, I cooked up a ribeye and sliced it up and then... If I had two ribeyes in the fridge, I would have done two of them and sliced them up and then just snacked on them until I stop eating at 2 p.m. Because I've gotten chunky. <laughs> so I'm trying to be really good and stick to the plan, right? And then, but because I don't have a second ribeye, I have um, some breakfast sausage links to supplement that, to go with that. So what else is there? I don't think anything else. I want you to tell me in the in the comments what you're working on what you're excited to start working on tell me about your crochet knitting whatever work um and you can always email me dana's wonderless crochet at gmail.com um pics of your progress and tell me what you're working on pics of something you just finished and then the next time i go live i'll be sharing those pics out you know tell me if you're working on a gumball or a somebody or or something else that you want to do for the Mountain States Children's Home. Those kids, let me tell you guys, those kids are in a, they're in a tough situation, seriously, being separated from their families for whatever reason. Um, I think there's very few cases where they're actually relieved. I'm sure there are cases where they're actually relieved, but otherwise, the situation at home, whatever it may be, has dictated that they need a safe place, safe, nurturing place to be while this change or temporary or permanent situation is happening. So, um, I just, it's in my heart, you guys, that those kids are, they're going through a tough time. Think about what that would have been like if for whatever reason, valid or invalid, um, you had to be separated from your family as a child for a temporary or permanent amount of time. The... Let's get those kids some great, great handmade items for Christmas. All the information on this um, crochet along, Mountain States Children's Home Charity Crochet Along is down in, uh, there's a link to a Google Doc. Tells you all about it. But again, you can, you can make whatever you want for those kids. Okay? That's all I've got. It's almost time to take someone for a victory walk. He's such a good boy. He is such a good boy. My head itches. My head itches. Yeah, he's awake. He's awake. Oh, yeah, scratches. So anyway, you guys, I've been really happy doing these um, weekly updates lately. Um, takes a lot of pressure off of me, and I feel like I get a chance to talk to you guys, go through what's going through my head real quick, and get to see what you're working on. So that's it for today, okay? Okay, I love you guys. Bye.